Hello and welcome to the 21st lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where we are becoming job ready to start providing freelance web design services with WordPress and Elementor. In my most recent class, I have shown how you can get a free domain, free hosting to create a beautiful WordPress website. And here is the website which we have created on this free domain and we have hosted this website on the free hosting. And now in this video, we are going to learn how to move or migrate a WordPress website from localhost to live server and as you can see we have got this website on the localhost which is on our computer this is the website and now we are going to transfer this website from localhost to this live server and to make this happen we are going to need to make few steps first of all we are going to reset this website so that we'll have a complete clean installation of WordPress and after that we have to upload or actually add a plugin here which is going to be for the migration purpose and then we'll take the export file we are going to upload that file here on this platform or this website and after that we'll have this website transferred on this side so without making this like a theoretical one so I'm going to show you how to migrate a website from localhost to live server real live step by step so first of all let's just go here and then i'm going to take you to the dashboard and we are going to start by resetting this website so let me take you to plugins and after that if i click on add new button right here we are going to find that plugin uh, additional page or the plugins page and after that i have to type out w p r e s e t and we are going to see some of the plugins which are which are mostly used for wordpress website resetting so i'd love to go with the first one wp reset so let me click on install now and this plugin in going is going to be added right here on this website as you can see installed and now we have to activate this one so let's click on activate and after that if we click on let me click on dismiss and now if i click on this open wp reset tools it's simple let's click here and you are going to see all of these options so let's let me just take you from here we have to go till the down and you'll find this option as you can see i've got few options reactivate current theme cadence so i'd love to uh, reactivate this theme or let's just uncheck this one and i'm going to uncheck this one as well so we don't want this plugin to get reactivated after the installation so let me just type out here reset and let me click on reset site and let's click on reset wordpress and we are going to get a clean installation of wordpress website now after getting this reset things done right here as you can see resetting in progress please wait but usually yeah within few seconds we have got this website resetted now if i visit this website in a new tab you are going to see we have got a clean installation of wordpress now i'm going to cross this out from here and let me take you back to our local host or on the local server now i'm going to take you to the dashboard of local server and after that let me take you to plugins then click on add new and after that we are going to install a plugin which is going to be let's say all-in-one migration ATION migration let's see yeah here we go all-in-one WP migration this is the plugin which you have to install so let me click on install now and other than this there are a few more plugins as you can see WordPress backup and my migration then I have got duplicator backup and migration so almost all of these tools are going to work the same way how it works so let me just click on activate and i love using this plugin because i'm most familiar with this the usage of this plugin okay and it is really easy now we have got all in one wp migration right here and if you just notice here we have got this option added right here now it's time to click on this export button so let's click on export and after that you have to click here export to let me click on file and it is going to work start working like analyzing the size of the website how many data we have got and what is the size of this database so let's just wait while it is working in the uh, working for us as you can see done exporting database so let's just wait yeah 
so here we go we have got a huge database here 676 megabytes so let me click on this download localhost button right here and after that i'm going to click on save and here we go we have got this export file actually we have got this file downloaded instantly now i'm going to click on close now if i take you back to our live server again we have to go to plugins and then let's click on add new and we need to install the same plugin here all in one wp migration and let's just wait while it is working here we go all in one wp migration which we have had here on this website right so let's go back we are going to click on install now and it is going to be installed on our computer and after that we sorry on our website and then we have to activate this plugin and after that simply we have to go here then let's click on this import button right here and after that well as you can see maximum upload file size is 10 megabytes only but the file we have up downloaded is 76 megabytes so in this case we have to click here on this get unlimited button right here and after that if we download this from here this from this page we are going to get like 512 megabytes of size so let me click on download and after that i'm going to click on save and let me take you back here let's say here on this page and after that i'm going to take you to plugins add new and we are going to upload the plugin which we have just downloaded this one is a plugin right so let me click on choose file and after that let me take you here and this is the plugin which we just downloaded right so let me click on open and let's click on install now and here we go you have got this uploaded now it's time to click on activate plugin right here so you learned the way how we can add a plugin from the library and how we can download and add a plugin from uh, manually okay so now if i take you back here on all in one wp migration and if i click on import you are going to see we have got 512 megabytes of size maximum upload size so now let's click here on these three dots or three lines and after that we are going to import the file and it is going to be this one which we have just downloaded a few minutes ago so let me select and after that click on open and it is going to start working and it might going to take some time it depends on the internet connection speed and on the file side so let's just wait all right so here we are almost done so let's just wait a few more seconds Okay, so here we have to click on this proceed button right here so let me click on proceed okay so now they have just started restoring the site from our backup so let's just wait few more seconds while it is working and here is an important message please do not close the browser window or your import will fail so you should not cross this out or close this window otherwise it is not going to work okay so this is really important keep it in your mind while you were um, just migrating your wordpress website from one server to another so let's just wait here now they are restoring your database okay as you can see here your site has been imported successfully as you can see we have got everything done now it's time to click on this finish button right here and if i show you if i visit this web page in a new tab you are going to see that we have got a new look to the website just take a look we have we are on rafi.rafi1.unix.com but we have got this site which is currently on our local host as you can see localhost slash new site we have got this site appearing on our live server so this is one of the process that we do or follow to migrate a wordpress website from a local host to live server so this was it guys i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future and